G'day everyone, Jason Haynes here once again from QPL Rural, right here in Narenda and Tamora, with a good look at what's been happening around the Riverina in this last week. Let's jump straight into water this week. Allocation prices have now hit around 550 with a sharp rise this last week, following forecast opening allocations for the 2019-20 season. As expected, the forecast did make for some sobering reading. We've included some South Australia allocations, potentially as low as 14% under extremely dry climatic conditions. The New South Wales allocation, well, there's not much joy there either. Under average rainfall conditions from here right the way through to November, there is a 1 in 2 chance or 50% chance we'll see a 23% allocation by November. And you'd have to say at the moment, the chance of that happening aren't that exciting. Now in the ball water space, I do have two small allocations of water that people are looking to place this year. I do have approximately 23 megalitres of Zone 3 Lower Murrumbidgee water for permanent trade at the moment. That one's sitting there and I do have some temporary trade of some Lachlan Fold water. There's approximately 170 megs of Lachlan Fold water there on temporary trade. That is also available if you're looking at jumping into this space before the end of the financial year. While we're talking water, I do also have some very active buyers at the moment that are looking to secure a property in that mid Murrumbidgee bore water zone. So if you're looking for an appraisal or you're sitting on top of some mid Murrumbidgee bore water and you're looking perhaps moving the farm on, please give me a call because these buyers are looking to step right into that space and it'll be worth having a real conversation about it. In livestock markets this week, well no lamb sale in Wagga either this Easter week or the weeks either side of Easter. So in recess there, but I must say the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator has taken a bit of a battering this week, sitting at 453.25 cents per kilo at the time of recording. Yardings in Wagga were down a little bit, which did buffer that, so Wagga prices were largely unchanged this week, but no sale for cattle in Wagga next week. Now the National Trade Lamb Indicator, it has jumped up again, we're sitting at 717 cents per kilo carcass weight and the mutton job just under that $5 at $4.96 per kilo carcass weight. While we are talking lambs, I do have a very active buyer also in the market looking to buy lambs at the moment. They're irrigated organic and so if you're in that western district, that Ivanhoe country or beyond and you've got certified organic lambs, I do have an irrigation farmer here looking to secure significant numbers of lambs at the moment. So please give me a call on that one. In rural property this week, well unfortunately we were unable to secure a buyer for Mandara at the moment. So Mandara coming in at 820 acres, a good zone 3 bore there. So good access to water, well developed for irrigation, also for feedlotting has a monitoring system where you can monitor the soil conditions, environmental conditions, right on your phone from wherever you are in the world. A good one-bedroom accommodation unit, a three-stand shearing shed, this ideal block for finishing livestock, growing forage for home, or indeed some good irrigated cropping space for those looking for a secure opportunity. Give me a call on Mandara. This is the best way of knowing you've got forage and green feed going forward for your stock this year. Secondly this week, Sandside, back down there south of Miranda, this is an ideal 3,300 acre block, good access into the Anko Creek there with water coming straight out of there onto some well developed border check and bankless channel irrigation country, a great mix of soils, a seam of sand going through the middle which would be ideal for feedlotting some lambs or some drier country and a good lick of that black self mulching clay out the back we'd get some really good heavy crops out there I'd reckon. It's well secured and it's very productive country. Well equipped with a three stand shearing shed, a good set of sheep yards and cattle yards, a good machinery shed, four silos and three hay sheds. Sandside is the ideal mixed farming block that can turn its hand to absolutely anything. As you'll all be aware, Sandside is going to expressions of interest which will close right at the end of April. So I do encourage you to jump in, put your hand up and have an inspection. This property will impress you and could seriously represent good value for money. Now thirdly this week, I was going to mention our new aggregation there that we spoke about last week. Yanko Creek Aggregation, coming in at 5,150 acres approximately. This has got good water access, having both a Zone 3 Lower Murrumbidgee bore and access right onto that Murrumbidgee water system via the Yanko Creek system. We've got creek pumps there delivering approximately 130 megalitres a day. We've got two storages on farm, one at 200 megs and the second one at 1700 megs. There's three laterals on this country, some good light country there, ideal for horticulture, but 
potatoes or almonds and a mix of good row cropping country there too, some heavier country around the creek, perfect for cotton or corn. The Anko Creek aggregation also features a three bedroom home, a good five stand shearing shed, a good set of sheep yards, in fact two sets of sheep yards and two sets of cattle yards. This is another great property that does feature scale, potential and production capacity. This aggregation also features very good road access and three phase power to the bore site. Once again, we will be running an expressions of interest process here. It'll be finishing up on the 24th of May, but I do encourage you to get in, have an early look. We do have Easter and Anzac Day in between, so we probably don't have as much time as you think. Come along and have a look, and let's do the numbers. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of these great properties here today, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 I do hope you all have a good Easter and Anzac break period. We'll be still working right the way through, so if you need anything, please feel free to give me a call at any time, and I look forward to catching up with you all again next week. Cheers.